Hello and welcome back to Double O Debbie and this is episode 135 of my direwolf 2018 let's play <laughs> Huzzah. um today <laughs> um I'm gonna talk about some things that uh, uh this is probably going to be <laughs> The last episode in this series um, had some real life uh, things come up and I just, uh, I don't have it, <laughs> I don't have it in me to continue recording. Uh, so, um, yeah, I guess we could do like a little tour. Um, sure. We started out over here in our cozy cottage. Oh man, look at that. I must have had a lightning strike or something. Uh, got a hole in my roof. Uh, we did the, the cozy cottage. Uh, got our little loft up here with the perfect view. Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, let's see. And then, um, uh, we had our farms over here. I didn't really know where to put them, but this area was kind of clear. So put some farms, uh, basic farms over here. Got them going. Oh yeah, I remember we had this uh, fire over here because <laughs> there was some lava. Oh, I think it was like right here. I have no idea how it burned stuff down over there, but it did. Uh, so. Yeah, but we saved the sheep. We now only have two left over here. Uh, so uh, then I think we did the dyer factory. We did the dyer factory uh, and some Britannia. I had like a little, I made like a little pond here. Uh, just because the ground was naturally unlevel, and I was like, Oh, well, that's big enough to make a great pond. <laughs> uh, so then I had Batania just sort of right here. And there was like nothing over here. Um, yeah, we built our little dyer factory and that was uh, pretty good. Oh, I built the mage tower over here. Oh, I love this. Uh, the mage tower. It's always good to see it over in the background. <laughs> I did I did actually decorate this area a little bit. I really loved it. Um, uh, I made a path without making a path. <laughs> uh, so that if I took the teleporter across the river like this, woo, um, I could just walk up. And I'd have a nice little view. I put some azaleas over here, got a little decoration, uh, some lights and stuff. Oh, we had our Ars Magica stuff. Uh, this was the automation for the essence, the essences. I had them all, you know, set up. I only had three of them going at a time, but, uh, you know, it worked. It worked. Yeah, um, we also did, uh, let's see, ours, uh, there's a ours animal farm here. It's not actually going because it's not getting a uh, source at the moment. You can tell, look, it says source needed. <laughs> I have a little hole under here, under each of my farms that, uh, oh man, I don't, I don't think I have the doodad anymore. The teleporter to teleport me underground. What did I do with that? I bet it's in. I bet it's in the system somewhere. Is it? I think it's a teleporter. It might be called something else. No, it is tele travel staff. I think that's what we have. Oh, that's like nothing. Um, let's just go ahead and make that. It's 
So I think it's like right here. Aha, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, it's um not functioning because I don't have my source set up. I need to set it up again, but. So, yeah. Um, that was the animal farm. Here was the food farm. And there's another little hollow area in the middle. Uh, got me lots of good stuff. Uh, again, this one isn't going... Oh, and, and it also works with kelp and seaweed and sugarcane and, and like all kinds of stuff. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, this is where Ars Nouveau, or Ars, uh, Ars Nouveau started, was right here, and then I kind of moved it out a little bit. Uh, there was like a, a cave, a cave under here, uh, that uh, I started doing my initial mining at, uh, but I wound up coming out uh, down here. And this used to be my base. <laughs> and there was uh, the start of my you know, underground base. Uh, oh, wow. It's all the way up at the ground floor. Um, that's cool. Uh, this, this used to be... I started out, I was going to expand my base here into here. And I was like... This was when I decided to make the dire factory. I just needed more room than this. <laughs> and this is all the uh, project boards and stuff. Uh, comments by people commenting. Uh, things that I wanted to do. I did like all of these. I've got Wrigley's for animals. Uh, Starbuckles do items with Swirly Springs do crops and flowers. Have minions do my bidding. Yes. Take over the world. We got the Amethyst Golem. <laughs> Become an all-powerful wizard and have minions protect me. Dude, like, um, uh, I don't even think, do I still have my, uh, wield walkers with that? Is that what they were? No, dude, I even lost this one. I need more wheeled walkers. I really like them. Um, yeah. Let's see. Then we did some nature's aura, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. Got our little cool thing back here. Our nether portal. Oh, and here's the uh, tree farm. <laughs> I really like the tree farm. This, uh, the little, is it the whirly sprig or the drink me? Or the starbuckle? No, it was definitely the whirly sprig, I think. Are you under here, guy? Yeah, here he is. Oh, man, look, he's jacked. He's extremely happy. I, I need to change that to uh, uh, projectile. Great. There you go, little buddy. You're all better. So he's extremely happy. <laughs> I really like the tree farm ones. We're extremely happy. Uh, yeah. Uh, so better sleep. Um, oh, we have our little engineering building over here. I didn't really, uh, this, I don't, I really like immersive engineering. Um, <laughs> I, I, whoa, hey, I, I am like doing stuff here. Okay. He's, he's dead. Yeah, we got a water wheel, uh, all kinds of stuff. 
Dude, the underground base has completely been transformed. I mean, it used to be just a mine shaft uh, going down to, you know, all the way down. Uh, but now it's like a whole, a whole new base. Uh, yeah, underground base. Oh, there's our sheep farm. Our little drone is going along, but he's not actually shearing them because we're out of shears. Um, there's our mob farm. Looks like it's, oh yeah, it's working. A lot of empty levels still. Uh, but I do have a lot of infrastructure to rebuild. It's over there. Oh, that's my kitchen that I just built. This is the main area where all the stuff is. Uh, I, I need to check. Oh, look, this is where I died and I had no blocks uh, to get to get up. Oh, look at that. This is just off of my 191k FE a tick uh, from these guys. Oh, look, it's got that bug again, the chunk bug. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's like on all of them. Jeez, all the chunk bugs. Yep, every single one of them. Uh, that's okay. Um, we have some mechanism over here. Um, pneumatic craft. <laughs> uh, and then the AE2 stuff, um, which also has mechanism over here. Um, I haven't actually redone this area. I meant to redo it and rewire it. Uh, but that's like, this is the main part, you know, it's hard to like unplug it. Um, anyway, uh, oh, we did the, the Colosseum. Oh, we did the fission reactor. Forgot about that. Uh, got our uh, super phase shifter or uh, it's something phase shifter I know <laughs> uh, but we did get uh, two antimatter pellets uh, I need to like get that going again and I can make some of these I mean it's just these are extra stuff they're not really um, they're not really necessary. <laughs> it's just like quality of life. I mean, I already have flight. There's no reason to do this, but this is the only thing that takes antimatter pellets. I just have to go back to the end and find some more elytras to, uh, to make that with. Because I think I'd also need one for the Ars Nouveau stuff. Because I got a few glyphs here that I, I haven't finished up yet. These are like the only ones I haven't got. And that's because they, they take very specific items that I don't have uh, an income of. Like this one takes the Wither Rose. This one takes the Totem of Undying. I had one <laughs> and I used it. So I don't have another one. I would have to go get another one. Uh, this one takes the Heart of the Sea. Uh, Dragon's Breath, I didn't, I don't think I got any Dragon's Breath while I was in there. Um, another Totem of Undying, and the Elytra. Um, yeah, I did think of doing the Nutritional Liquifier, and it might be something that I do, uh, but <laughs> I was having some fun automating uh, all the, the, the food. Uh, because, I don't know, it, it sounds really good, I made shepherd's pie, so <laughs> I've been over here, um, automating, this is for, uh, the meat, um, actually, yeah, it's sort of automated, I haven't finished it yet, um, because I was going to make, uh, a different sensor, uh, so, like, this will work, uh, but there's nothing that will activate it. Uh, if I put, 
uh, meat in well right now <laughs> it is sensing it it has meat in it i just have to get some way to keep the meat in here uh for it to you know actually work and i don't have like a way to load a knife in here so once this breaks it will just it'll be gone <laughs> and also i thought of uh, because this will just um, make the meat, then I actually have to cook it. So I've been having this little fridge is going to be stocked with all the main ingredients. This is the main ingredients. Um, there's also milk too, but I got this little cow in a jar. Why aren't you working? Oh, he's full. He just doesn't look like he's full. Uh, it's got 32 buckets of milk in there, so anytime I need milk, uh, it just automatically make, pulls it out of there. In you know, if you use this little guy, see, it can make milk, and if a recipe calls for milk, it will, you know, do the thing. Uh, so uh, I was trying to figure out uh, how I could get that hooked up into the system. And I thought of another automation I need to do is to actually make the shepherd's pie edible because it's like a cake uh, with four slices. You put it down and you have to click on it with a bowl. So I thought about automating that too uh, so that it could just do the complete process of making uh, the shepherd's pie automatically and that would be cool but <laughs> it would probably be a lot easier to just get the nutritional liquefier <laughs> than to set all of this stuff up you know what i'm saying um that's what i'm saying oh oh yeah and then we had uh the coliseum oh we did have the crude oil um got the coliseum oh, i love this uh i got all the mana now i was going to um because the essence here is not um i don't know it's a little flaky when you move it sometimes it it, it will move it in large batches, but a little trickle and you like get nothing. So I had to uh, make that system on the mob farm uh, to let it accumulate and then send it through once it has enough. And then it finally started building up. Uh, but yeah, we got tons of mana over here to run our... Um, flowers and doodads uh when we need to do battle up here uh-huh oops and there's the coliseum where we do the battles um yeah i found out that uh when i did the the wilden chimera he did destroy some blocks up here, um, but when I reset, uh, I was going to go fix it, and I came down to reset it, and uh, I found that it actually didn't destroy the blocks. I mean, it's got these destroyed, but when I turned it off, the regular block reappeared where it was supposed to be and then when i turned it back on it was all whole again so that's pretty cool and look at that you can see from over here uh the little fort i built on top over there i probably will play some and and do some mine colonies <laughs> and build this area up what happened did i drop um, what did i draw I don't know. I think I just lost something. Was that, um, no, I guess not. All right. Um, 
I'm pretty sure that's that's mostly it. We do have the little. Uh, we got the Dar Factory, the Wizard Tower, uh, the crude oil place was just um, yeah. It's just this making us lots of oil. I don't even think this is on at the moment. It's probably all back stuffed. Uh, so so yeah. Oh, let's go up to the tire factory. Um, there were definitely some advantages to working underground versus overground. Uh, and the fact that I didn't light any of this stuff up, it was definitely a lot better, what, to, a lot less annoying to me to, uh, record underground because I was having to s take less time to sleep. <laughs> uh, I wasn't having to worry about, oh my goodness, it's getting dark. I need to go sleep. Because I was underground, I couldn't really tell and it didn't really matter anyway because I was underground. Uh, so, but it's a little more challenging to, like, I, I still, normally I am like a stickler. I like light things up. Every square inch has a torch on it. Uh, so I have no idea why I didn't do that <laughs> in this playthrough. Um, because I'm normally uh, really, really anal about it. Um, so... I guess, I guess it's kind of boring. Uh, you know, when you light it up, you know you're not going to see a mob. <laughs> you're not. You're just, it's, it's done. Your, your world is safe and you will never see a mob. And I don't know, I, I kind of like that uh, and I kind of don't. Uh, for one, if you have a torch everywhere, there's going to be like nothing else. It's going to be completely flat and torches evenly spaced and stuff like that. All right. So, um, oh yeah, I didn't really do a whole lot in the nether. I did, I do have a system in there, uh, that is getting, is getting me nether drops, uh, I'm afraid to go in here. Oh, what's going to attack me? I don't know. Ah! Dude! It's not really hurting me, but it was still scary. It's still scary. Uh, yeah, so shouldn't have any mobs spawn in here. I kind of like made everything out of glass so nothing could spawn in here. Uh, but this is pulling me in nether loops and stuff. Um, oh, and uh, I also had with that foxhound. You thought you were going to come eat me. You thought wrong. Oh, we got the, the nether uh, natura's aura ritual over here. And, um, let's see, I believe, go down this way. Been a while since I've been down here. Um, which way do I go? Oh, I think it's this way. Yeah, yeah. Woo! And then back here. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is I did a lot of mining for uh those first initial scraps of nether uh the ancient debris and just quartz. Uh, I had to get some quartz somehow. Uh but clearing that out helped. <laughs> and this is where my uh lava pump was, and then I moved it over to here, and then I moved it over to here. And then I moved it over to here, and then I was going to, like, I was like, oh my god, I need to get an infinite lava source. And this is like, uh, halfway. <laughs> it's halfway finished. Um, not completed. 
And I'm pretty sure that's that's about it. What the heck? What is that? Coffee beans? What? Is that something new? I don't remember. Ah, they're like cocoa beans, only they're coffee. Cool. Did not know that. Disgusting snack. <laughs> nice. Um, I think I remember... Um, oh yeah, there's more over here. So I needed to go deeper to get... Uh, actually, this part was just for uh, the quartz, the nether quartz. Uh, I came down here to get the, the ancient debris. And here's my little waystone that I created. Oh, look, there's one right there. It's the perfect spot. Uh, I think this is like, is it? Oh, where is the, there it is. It's Y level 15 uh, is where ancient debris is supposed to be the most common. And so it's quite a run all the way down. Boop. And this is where I ran into some lava. So I just kind of turned. Once I got there and started digging out and I found uh, I found quite a bit of the ancient debris and stuff through here <laughs> and I went oh my goodness it this was um yeah with the plane strider stash I mean sash and the mining gadget oh man mining through here was like I would go I would get going so fast because the nether rack breaks so easily it was like I was running I was like literally run mining uh through here ah! you never catch me alive yes yes I did very 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 far um I think I just went, kept going until look there's another ancient tree over there uh I kept going until I I ran into a undesirable biome. <laughs> I think there was like radiation there or something. I don't know. It was weird. Uh, it was a, a biome that I'd never heard of before. Check this out. See how far I went? <laughs> this is like the 10 mile long uh, section. And, and this was like with the plane strider sash. So the longer I ran, the faster I ran. Uh, yummy old snacks. Old snacks. Yeah, this is where it was. Uh, this, this is some type of biome. Um, inverted, incendium inverted forest. Uh. I didn't realize, I guess, that that was uh, doing the thing. Oh, no, wait. I, uh, that wasn't the bad biome. It's way further. <laughs> um, it keeps going and going and going. Wow. I didn't like turn around, did I? It's a bunch of magma blocks up there. That'd be really embarrassing if I got turned around and started heading the wrong way. Oh, you gonna you gonna smack me, aren't you? Yeah, this is the one. Uh Th 
this is in toxic incendium toxic heap. So there's actual radiation over here. You can see the little green particles. Uh, so yeah, I actually started taking damage and stuff through that. Oh my goodness! Ah! Oh, that's so many mobs spawned. Um, I think I'm gonna get out of here. So let's go up to the wizard tower. Ah! Oh, yes. I love this view. It's pretty cool. Oh, I forgot to talk about that. That's just the, the lithium production. I have more. I really don't need that anymore. <laughs> I think I've got over 2 million uh, lithium and stuff. So it's definitely, definitely got a full storage container for that. Um, yeah, so, uh, kind of sad, but anyway, um, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you around. Bye-bye.